Hello, I'm Scott Vance and just now what I'm going to be explaining is what are black holes. Now what a black hole essentially is, is extremely dense matter that has such a strong gravitational field that even light can't escape it. Now a black hole is formed when a star that is greater than three times the size of our sun collapses in on itself, like in a supernova. Alternatively, a way that a black hole can be formed is when a neutron star collapses in upon itself. And what a neutron star is, is what is formed when a star that is greater than 1.4 times the size of our sun, but less than 3 times the size of our sun, collapses in upon itself. Now back to black holes. The gravity of a black hole is so great that around it light is significantly bent, and once you get within a certain distance of a black hole, even light cannot escape it. And what this distance is called is the Schwarzschild radius. And within the Schwarzschild radius, anything that goes into it will never come back out again, ignoring Hawking's radiation, which I'll explain more about if you ask about it in the comments. Now, anything that goes within the Schwarzschild radius of a black hole can never have enough energy to escape, because even light cannot escape. And other than the recent neutrinos that are still in the news, nothing ever can go faster than the speed of light. So what happens to the matter once it goes within the Schwarzschild radius is it is constantly forced ever further into an infinitesimally small point within the center of the black hole. And this is called the singularity. Now you can probably gather by now that black holes are extremely destructive things. Even stars get sucked in by black holes. Now when a star is orbiting around a black hole, slowly getting sucked in by it, what is formed is something that's called an accretion disk. Now an accretion disk is formed by the gas of the star being sucked into an orbit around the black hole, and the gas that is closer to the black hole will be orbiting faster, and the gas that is further away will be orbiting slower. And this is an extreme amount of friction as the gas goes around the black hole and is extremely quickly going into it. Now this causes the accretion disks of black holes to be extremely bright, a, a huge amount brighter than any star is. And sometimes what happens is jets of matter going close to the speed of light comes from around the black hole and um, shoots off perpendicular to the accretion disk. And these jets we have, in fact, observed. Black holes are also at the centre of every single galaxy that we are aware of currently. But these aren't just standard black holes caused by one star collapsing in upon itself. These black holes, such as this black hole at the centre of our Milky Way, of tens of thousands times more massive than any of the normal black holes that are caused by collapsing stars. And these are so massive because they have been around for an extremely long time. And um, over the, all of that time, they have taken in more and more matter and merged with other black holes and other supermassive black holes of other galaxies as well. Now, despite the destruction involved with black holes, if it wasn't for black holes, most likely we wouldn't be here. Because if it wasn't for black holes, the odds are that galaxies wouldn't exist either because there's nothing that would be able to keep all of that mass together. Comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions or corrections and I'll see you next time.